All right, in this video, I was using the uh, waterproof casing on the GoPro, and uh, for some reason, it kept making a scratching sound in the audio. So, I'm only going to use that when I need to from now on. I didn't need to use it here. I just didn't feel like changing it out on the, the chest strap. But uh, uh, right here, I was talking about how this area is. It's a private pond that nobody's supposed to know about. Nobody's supposed to fish there. I kind of sneak in sometimes. And uh, when I got there, there was already two other groups of people fishing there. And they weren't supposed to be there either. But it was just it was awkward. Everybody was trying to stay away from each other. Nobody knew what was going on with the other people. Uh, I didn't want to get too close to anybody and have them get mad at me for spooking away their fish. And I didn't want anybody to come close to me and spook away my fish and you know so we we all just kept a distance so but yeah the uh the audio part uh for the next couple parts is going to be really really annoying so i apologize just saw something hit the surface over here couldn't tell what it was it might have been a turtle but i'm gonna throw out anyway Bait here first. But I'm seeing stuff hit the surface around it, so there might be something checking it out. But I'm catching too many leaves on it, so it's not going to do any good. Oh, look at that. There's a bunch of fish that just moved right there. There's fish here. Got one. Got him. <laughs> Look at that. Dark colors. Okay, and he is going crazy trying to get away. Pretty fish. His mouth is hooked shut. There we go. I knew there was some out there. This, this is the smallest one I've caught out here, but uh, he's he got that pretty aggressively, and then he just he was going crazy as I flip him in. Go tore up his bottom lip there pretty good. Get a picture of this little guy. You know, let's let him go. Look at that, he's. <laughs> He's all right. Now I know there's more out there. I saw like four of them hit the surface around the lure. No, there was four on this side and two on this side, so there's six there. So it's these little eBay jerk baits are. They've been a good investment for me. I mean, other people don't seem to like them, but I do. Got another one. Look at that. Next cast. Two in a row. It's a little better. A little bit better. <laughs> this one's probably about a pound. I think I found my sweet spot for today. This one's trying real hard to get away. He's hooked with both hooks in the same spot. I've never seen that. That's weird. And they were actually entangled in on there, so. Not bad. This one, he's probably less than a pound, three quarters of a pound. Two fish on two casts right now. That's always a good thing. Get this out towards the sun. Let him go. <laughs> I'm gonna have to change my name to the Dink Slayer because that, that's all I seem to be able to catch lately. And uh, right about this time, the uh, the temperature was maybe not right here, but a little bit before when I caught the two fish, it was about 85 degrees when the sun was up, a little bit higher. But as you can see in the background there, the sun's coming down on the horizon, and it went from 85 degrees, and by morning it was below freezing. Uh, this was about six o'clock, 
it had dropped from from about 5:30 to 6. It had dropped from 85 to about 75. And by seven o'clock, it was about 65, and it dropped about 10 degrees every every hour or half hour. By nine o'clock, it was 40 degrees, and uh, it it dropped down below freezing overnight. So there, there it was icy this morning, and that's just that's how Texas is. It'll go from being warm enough to go swimming in the pond to cold enough to skate on it the next day. So. Uh, but yeah, I only caught those two fish. I didn't get any more bites the rest of the time I was out there. But I was only out there for an hour, and I didn't get to fish the whole pond like I wanted to because of the other groups that were out there. Uh, but I think I did pretty well for just fishing this one spot. So it was a pretty good time out there.